Right, so I left it a bit late leaving today because, well, I was searching up like things to do and just kind of planning out what I'm going to be doing the next few days. And I looked at Auschwitz and it's actually, um, well, it's, it's full for the next few days on the English tours. So I might have to do a solo tour. I mean, I was thinking about doing that anyway. Um, but it would be like to, the only option really is that I get one on like the 23rd, the day before I go. Um, or I just go for a different language one. So I'm kind of leaning towards a different language one because it gives me more opportunity. But I don't exactly know how the booking thing works. So I think I'm just going to go and do a solo tour and then just look around through that. But right now, um, man, just look at this. It looks beautiful, isn't it? This river and the snow. This path, this footpath as well, this river is just so beautiful. But um, right now I'm on the way to Schindler's factory. I'm going to be going around there the tour which is like over there so it's across the bridge and somewhere over there so that's where i'm walking to right now so as i've left it quite late and it's like 3 p.m now i'm just going to go around a few museums i think today if i can fit them in and just go back into the central and um see what i can find museums wise sites wise that kind of thing i współpracownik AWP w dzierżawie fabryki przy ulicy Lipowej 4 razem z całym wyposażeniem i zmienia jej nazwę na Deutsche Malwarenfabrik. W fabryce zatrudnia głównie polskich pracowników. Po utworzeniu w marcu 1941 roku getta w Krakowie przeważającą część załogi stanowią żywy. I bardzo często przyjeżdżali ludzie z AWE, no bo jak była produkcja wojskowa, to oni się interesowali, jak to wszystko przebiega, jak, jak to wygląda. 
pan Schindler to wszystko tak organizował, że oni weszli na teren zakładu i oni tam z nimi porozmawiał, coś tam podyskutowali trochę i zabierał ich do siebie do gabinetu. No i tam oczywiście był poczęstunek, koniak się lał, jak woda It's quite interesting because yesterday I explored the quarry and now we're getting a memorial of it. Look at that cross in there. Well, I'm glad I actually explored the quarry and found it by myself. And now we've got all this history. Wow, look at that. Right, so I just got out of Schlinder's factory. Um, that was honestly really, I really enjoyed that. Really liked seeing the history and overall just learning more about it. So obviously I knew of it and the film, but actually being there and seeing all the things from the war and the history, 
yeah, I really enjoyed that. I spent quite a bit of time there as well, just really soaking it all in. But now I'm just at this Hindu's Indian food and I saw the prices were reasonable, so I decided to get a mango lassi. It's quite nice. <coughs> so it is quite late now. Well, it's getting dark. It's only five o'clock, but I might go see if there's any other museums or things around here. Might, might as well look around whilst I'm here, so I'm gonna go do that now. It's very cold now. It's definitely the coldest today that it's been out of all the days. The air is just freezing. I think it's like minus two or three right now. The highest it's been today is minus one. 